Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival episode 18. In the last episode we finally arrived back home after a long trip. We had been at the end city uh, with the end ship so we have the Elytra uh, somewhere in here. <laughs> but we also in the last but in the last episode, we discovered a brand new biome, which we took a little bit of a detour to explore, and it was really, really cool. And on the way, we found out we can actually eat these uh, mushrooms right here, which is really cool. So I am going to go ahead, and I don't know if I can actually grow these. If I can, and you know, please do let me know down below in the comments. But for now, anyway, I think that I just need to cook those up. But before we begin today's episode, I do have a plan. I need to organize all of this. <laughs> Uh, why don't I start off with taking the empty shulker boxes out of this? There we go. These are full. The rest is... Oh yeah, we got an egg crystal as well and phantom membrane in the last last episode, in episode 16. Um, and yeah, all of these are pretty much empty. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what to do with this many shulker boxes. I don't need this many shulker boxes. I don't know what to do with them. So if you have any suggestions, do let me know down below in the comments. I guess I can dedicate a chest in our storage room for empty shulker boxes. So why don't we do that, actually? These are being used. Why don't we use some of the barrels here in the in the side here? There we go. They gotta go in there. We also have four here, but those are filled with a nice and cool and sweet treasure. If we take a look here. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. That's the elytra right there, which is actually something we will be working with today. And okay, yep, I... I forgot we have a termite block. And we also got guests here from the end city, which is really, really awesome. I'm also going to take this out right here because we need to organize all of it. All of it needs to be organized and put into a system. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Right. I'm going to start off by cooking myself some food because I will be needing it. And looks like this stopped, uh, stopped working, so I'll need to take care of that as well. All right. I need a lot of... Oh, cooked redfish. Cool. I need a lot of charcoal, because I don't have access to that much coal. So charcoal has got to be the way to go here. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to cook up all this wood. So that's one charcoal, and I'm going to put that in there. That's going to cook that up, that whole sack, and hopefully I can then get this endstone smelter to work very soon. I think we need to take a look at some of our weapons and tools as well, because we're getting a lot, and I don't know if I even need this many, like, tools and weapons. Yeah, look at this. This is all... Weapons and tools. Yep. How many is that? That is like six swords, too many pickaxes and shovels. I don't need this much. <laughs> um, okay, so this is my toolbox. I don't know if the saddles even have a purpose. I don't think we gotta save the the stone axe anymore. Let's uh, let's make a row with like shovels and pickaxes. I don't even know what I need shovels for. Wait, do I even need shovels for anything other than maybe some end sand here and there? I probably don't need that many shovels. All right, stone sword. We gotta be careful as well. These are not ideal because if I drop something, yeah, that happens. So I need to figure out a better lighting solution as well. Right, what do I have here? Smite three, knockback one, sharpness three, sharpness four, knockback two, mending. That's amazing. We need to combine some of these. I need to make the ultimate sword. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them. And then the ones that I won't be using, I'll grind stone so I can use them for repair jobs. But looks like I can get mending on my sword. So really, just having an extra backup is going to be ideal. Now it's on to the armor. Which I also have way too much of. Not going to take the elytra just yet. Some of the armor is kind of bad because it has curse of binding and whatnot. So... I don't really want that, if I'm being honest. And the issue is I can't grindstone that in. Uh, Curse of Vanishing is not too big of a deal, but kind of annoying if I die. And I can actually still get my stuff and then it's gone if it has super enchantments on it. So that is not the best situation. All right, uh, say hello to my boot collection. <laughs> Curse of Vanishing, Curse of Binding, that's really bad. Curse of Binding, Curse of Vanishing. All right, well, it's still something. What are you doing on my porch? All right, the rest I'm just going to organize here in this shulker box, I think, because I think the rest can... Nope, never mind. The rest cannot be in here. Okay, I'm going to take all the important resources out, and I'm going to put it in here. Cave pumpkin seed. I wonder if I can grow that. That's interesting. All right, this should be all of the important uh, things, which I can actually take right out of this 
and move straight over to my resources box. Or rather, my valuables. 21 diamonds, that is not bad. Alright, oh yeah, I had ingots separate, didn't I? I'm gonna put stuff like gas here, phantom membrane, and shulker boxes in this one. Beetroot seeds kind of just belong in here with the other stuff. Alright, I have enough charcoal now to actually go ahead and make a charcoal block, which I can then fuel this endstone smelter, and then I can also start cooking these mushrooms. Yeah. Next we have all of this like crafting tables and anvils and stuff, which I don't know where to put either. <laughs> you know what, I have not known what to do with this room, but I think I know now. It's just pretty big, it's very bright. Why don't we set up a bunch of pedestals and we'll put up like important stuff, like very rare items and stuff that we may have found. Um, like maybe the dragon head or something like that, that could be cool. For now though, I think I'll put everything like I have like anvils or whatnot in this chest. And I could use some signs, couldn't I? Alright, that works perfectly. I'm gonna make a bunch more signs of these and then basically label every single chest. And what I think I'm going to do is I've gotta collect all the different wood stuff, for now anyway, and just put it in one single chest. Perfect. Alright, most important things have been labeled, so that is perfect. I ran out of my white wood, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, Alright, we're getting the Thalassium ingot. We're still getting a bunch of charcoal, which is beautiful. Alright, let's empty these final shulker boxes here. I think I can carry the rest in my inventory, so we can actually get rid of these. There we go. Now pick these up, and now I can put them in the barrels. I have so many books now, that is actually perfect. I think I'm gonna put potions in this chest here. Alright, brewing station. You belong right there, buddy. And then... I think what I'm gonna do is, like I said before, take a bunch of these pedestals and then just place them with some space in between. Maybe not that one. Too close to the too close to this entrance. Oh, I have this too. Why? Get rid of that. All right, and then I can place some on this side as well. Right, right. And then what I can do is I can put meaningful things here. Maybe a potion to look cool. Maybe the dragon head, even though we haven't killed the dragon yet. The elytra. Um, and yeah, maybe maybe a diamond as well, because why not? I think we should put the eternal crystal in as well, until we actually need it. Oh, that looks cool. Actually, let's put the diamond there, the eternal crystal there. Yeah, I think that's a good use of this room. I think that's good. I'm realizing actually, this is a crafting area. I should put all my crafting valuables in these chests here. I should have like a place for ingots and stuff here, and then tools, maybe at the bottom. I think that's a good call actually. Yeah, I'm gonna move all of this actually, because I don't need it back here, I need it in the crafting area. Same with all this stuff. I'm gonna convert this terminite block into terminite ingots, just like so. And yeah, I think that is a good use for this chest actually. Then... I kinda need to take down these signs. This place is a work in progress, alright? It's a work in progress. I don't think this brewing stand is going to stay. I will also, ev eventually, I will need an in, uh, what's it called? No, there it is, infusion pedestal. I will need that eventually as well somewhere. Maybe I can place it over here though, since this chest is probably not gonna be used much. Ah, no, I'll figure it out. Now, what are some of these different lanterns I can make? Andesite, diorite, quartz, purple, and stone, which are the ones that I have here. Blackstone, I don't have access to that, unfortunately. Flavolite, that's not bad. Oh, some of these are actually really cool. And they're not that expensive to make, I'm just thinking of lighting options that we could potentially have here. They need to be on a full, like, block, like a fence or the floor. It just is something better than these neon cactus. What are these? Thalassium, all of this term terminite. Okay, Thalassium is not too bad, actually. Huh, Thalassium Bolt Lantern. I have the glowing bulbs. I have ten of them. I could afford one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could afford that. Should we make some Thalassium Bolt Lanterns? Let's do it. I think we do it. Um, Thalassium Chain. Alright, not too bad. Let's craft them. Alright, first we need some nuggets, and then we go ahead and... I need eight, right? Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then I need eight ingots to make them, and then it's just the bulbs, I think? That little slime is cute, but also extremely loud and annoying. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think this is a recipe? Nope. There we go, Thalassium Bulb Lanterns. I'm just gonna make all of them. 
Uh, right. So clearly there can be placed like that, but that's not my intention. I need... Ah, yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I don't know how well this is going to look, to be fair with you. Um, actually, I don't think it's going to be that bad. And then we take them, place them like so. Yeah, that lights up the area pretty good, and it doesn't look too bad with having that. All right, let's put them in here as well. If I have, I have the wood. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah, these cactus in here was a little bit of a hazard because of this is kind of the in the the storage room. <laughs> let's place them. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Maybe put them in front of the. Uh, well, but then, hmm. Maybe these two are enough to keep the place lit. This kind of looks bad, though. <laughs> uh, I guess we can place two here as well. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't know. Does that look bad? Let me know down below in the comments. Maybe if we just do that. No, that, that makes it look even worse. Mm, I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. All right, charcoal is finished. I'll put all my fuel in this chest right here, and I'll even put one on the pedestal, because why not? And I'll put food over here, because this will be my food storage chest. All right, that is the preparation work, I guess, or the work from ge going, getting back home. I want to do something, and it's going to be a little bit of time left today, so yay, haven't done many of those. Yeah, go away. I want to make two staircases. I want to make a staircase going down to the water somehow, um, somewhere, maybe over here or something? I don't know, I just want a staircase down to the water because what I need to start growing are these things right here and lily leaf, and I don't know if I actually have the seeds for them. I think they grow seeds. I think they give you seeds, but anyway, I want to grow these because that can allow me to get this, the dried one, which can be used to make paper, and I guess you can guess where this is going. Yes, um, firework rocket. <laughs> So I can make the paper and the gunpowder I need to make with sulfur, charcoal, and bone meal. But how am I going to get bone meal? I need to do that from the composter, of course. Right, yeah. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a factory process, I suppose. But uh, that's fine. Hello, buddy. That's fine. Um, but first, we need to set up a place where we can easily access a farm of those leaves. Um, and I assume that is going to have to be down here. So a little bit of a staircase going down. A little bit of a path leading from the house all the way down here. And then a staircase down. I have no idea what color I'm going to do this. Or what type of wood or anything like that. I'm just going to wing it and see what happens. Let's see what kind of wood I have in like big amount of quality. I have a lot of this orange helix wood. So that's good. Um, so that's an option right there. I also have... This, which is basically that wood, um, and then I have this, which I don't think I'm going to use. It should be either one of these, or a mix. You know what? Let's go with a mix. I just don't know what to make the path out of. I don't think the path is going to look that great in orange nor white. So what other thing could I use for the paths? I mean, we have some options from the Better End mod itself with uh, some of the stone right here. <sighs> I don't know. I guess I could do what I've done already and make a mixed like path with some of the... What is it? Bricks? Do we have any bricks? Okay, tiles. I guess I could use some of the tiles to make a better path, better looking path than this, basically. Maybe a mixture of these two. Or these two. I think it would have to be Azure and Sandy. I mean, we have plenty of it here, so I can easily get it. Could also use end stone bricks, that's also a possibility. Oh yeah, stone cutter. Can I use a stone cutter with this? Hold up. No, it doesn't seem like it. That's an oof. Alright, I'm gonna probably start with the staircase and then move on to the path. Anyway, that's gonna be a time lapse. See you after the time lapse. Let's roll!
Alright, I think I am happy with this, at least for now. I like the lanterns, I like the staircase actually. I think it looks not bad and I am pretty happy with the path as well. Leading back up to the house and leading down to here. I think what I might do though is probably set up some fences here and there, maybe one here, maybe another here and here with some more of these J-Stone lanterns or one of the other lanterns. I don't quite know which one I like the most yet, um, but either way, I think I like this. I think I like the development of this. I really want a silk touch pickaxe so I can fix stuff like this and this, but um, that's for another episode. <laughs> now, we need the the leaf seed or whatever it's called. I don't remember what the, what the leaf itself is called. Let's see here. And lily leaf, that is, and lotus seed. I think that is it. I'm pretty sure I'll, p I'll take these with me as well. I do actually have some fence, so why don't we take those with us and try and put up some, some lights. Let's put one right here. Yeah, that's not bad. And then let's put another up there. Let's put another here. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. Maybe have another here and then another here. Yep, I like the development of this. Alright, now I think if we just get rid of some of this to make room for our own farm here. Uh, and Lotus Flower. Ooh, wait, maybe these are not it. Maybe these are not it. I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, let's get rid of this though. Wait, I can pick this up. It looks like bamboo. Can I use it for something? Can I use this for something? I can make end Lotus Logs? Wait, do I not even have what I need? And Lily Leaf. I don't think I have what I need. And Lily Leaf. And and Lotus and Lily. That is not the same. Hold up, do I not have do I not even have the seed? Oh no. And Lily Seed, that is. And Lily Seed. Phew! Okay, now this Lotus stamp, that's really, really cool. I'm gonna keep that in the wood because I I, I see that as a kind of wood. Alright, um let's let's try this again. I'm gonna get rid of this one as well, because it does not look that pretty. Alright, let's take a look at the behavior of this. Do I just right click? Okay, so I need basically some end stone in order for this to actually work. So, right, I want to make this eventually look nice, like with some paths out and stuff. So, you know what, starting here is actually not a bad idea. If we get rid of this, and then go out like this, then I'll have a path going here. And then another path can then go out like here. I'll do, don't worry, I'll do it with wood and such eventually. So if I do this, this should eventually grow up to be become the little leaf. And then this right here. Oh, gotta get rid of that. This could work, you know, actually. All right. Well, that's all. That's all the seeds I have. But um, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Another time lapse. Here we go. Let's make this thing pretty. Let's go. Alright, I think I am happy with this for now anyway. I like the path and also we have the farm here now, which it, it it's already working. <laughs> it's already working just like that. Beautiful. I don't think that's ready to harvest yet, considering I just harvested, harvested the biggest ones here. Um, so that's going to work. My intention is to expand it to have another one over here. And then I also want to farm these end lotus uh, stems here. So we need to set up another farm of that, probably over there or in that direction. But yeah, that is it for now. Uh, and lily leaves have now been obtained. We can always extend on this later in the future, which we will do. I guarantee that. Now I gotta take care of some noisy neighbors. Quiet. 
I am extremely tempted to install a mod that allows you to place down like a super torch or something that just hinders mob spawns within a at least a 32 by 32 area or something. This is getting really annoying. <laughs> now I also want to make eventually a path down here. Uh oh. <laughs> I also want to make a path down here eventually down to like our quarry and also maybe in that direction. Oh boy. But I don't yet know why. I think I might want the path up there as well. Or maybe in that direction. I don't know. We have lots of stuff to do and think about. While we were building that, I have been smelting out this and lily leaf stuff. And I think I have... Yes, six more over here. So, we have 22. And if we use it just like sugarcane, we should be able to make paper. Just like that. And we can make quite a lot, actually. Oh, wow. That's perfect. Uh... I'm gonna just leave that in there for now, and I'll leave the Aunt Lily dried leaf in here together with the paper, because they kind of go together. That is kind of the paper part done. Now we need to worry about the gunpowder, which is coal or charcoal, together with sulfur, together with bone meal. So in between episodes, I will be doing a little bit of research if I can on the sulfur, maybe see if it's farmable. If it is, then maybe we'll set up a farm for that. Either way, we need to get the sulfur. Um, I need to cook up a bunch more charcoal, so we are going to need to have some more wood. And also we need to set up maybe some bone meal thing. I don't know what to set up. It can't really be automated. But I need to find out if there's maybe something I can farm that grows quick. That I can kind of just convert into bone meal on the fly. But that is for the next episode. We did a lot of progress organizing and getting things sorted. So I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. as It does help me out a ton. And also be sure to subscribe if you're new around here and like what you see. But anyways, that's going to be it. Also a quick reminder. Everyone now has access to... The end survival mod pack, you can find it on my website or my GitHub, links down below in the description. Be sure to check out this video on the screen right now in order to get more info on that. But anyways, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and good bye.